Basically, they believe that people are not Muslims or non-Muslim, whether Jews or British, or Christian, etc. They have second class category or they don't deserve to live or they have to convert. So this kind of violent approach to uh, their worldview is very much against the human civilization, against democratic norms and against any civilized society. So that is the reason, though the Kerala is where the major action is, you'll find similar actions in UP or Bihar or Kashmir, etc. As I said, even in neighboring countries where Shias are being killed, Embadiyas are being killed, or even Bangladesh, they have there are organizations working with them, as you recently saw in the INI report. Even Bangladeshi extremists are involved with them. So they have this religion, you know, so-called religious ties with each other, plus the funds to support each other. And also they have ties and they have got very good access with the leftist and national forces. That is also clear because the way they are protected by the Marxist government so far, and the ways even secular forces, so-called secular forces like Congress, are also supporting them, it shows that this is the more dangerous part because you can fight the enemy which is seen. You, you, how do you fight people from within who try to support such, such terror organizations and give them moral support, cover support, legal support to keep on with their activities, give them a uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, wheel of, uh, 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 you can say, wheel of honest, uh, uh, gentlemanship or a wheel of respectability. So this respectability given to these organizations by people like Rahul Gandhi or people, other people in uh, secular camp and the illiberal class, this is the area where the real danger lies.